Unleash the Beast in this episode of Battle Guides featuring Karen and Jaeger, the twin werewolves. Karen and Jaeger, or K and J for short, make use of their speed, coordination, and board control to overwhelm their opponents. With their brawling capabilities, this dynamic duo is capable of fighting almost anywhere on the board. However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows for this duo. Being middlers means their stats are average to above average at best, leaving them gasping for air against opponents who are faster and more hard-hitting than they are. They might have the potential to hit hard, but the conditions for these are shaky at some times. Karen and Jaeger's unique ability is Hunting Pack. Karen has a Jaeger marker that she can move across the board using her styles. As an end of beat effect, if she wasn't stunned, she can move Jaeger up to one space. Although Jaeger does nothing on his own, Karen's styles use Jaeger to activate some of the most devastating effects in all of Devastation. Do note that Jaeger himself does none of the fighting, and Karen is the only opponent listed down in most of the card effects you'll see on other characters. Jaeger is simply a marker and does not interact with any of these effects, even if his name is in their character name. Hunting Pack is the central game plan for any Karen and Jaeger player. This duo always needs to make sure that they're in favorable positioning in comparison to the opponent. The sheer strength of Jaeger's effects allow Karen to control the board by pressuring opponents with his marker. This, in conjunction with their styles, allows Karen and Jaeger to not only force people into the positioning they want, but also get into the positioning they need. Couple that in with their amazing speed and brawling capabilities, and you have a duo that can abuse the corner trap very well. However, most of that power comes from their styles, so let's discuss them before going on. Howling is one-third of Karen and Jaeger's Corner Trap Trio, henceforth named the Big Three. However, on its own, it's still quite an amazing style that gives this character much-needed range and stun immunity. You see, it allows Karen to calculate range from Jaeger's positioning instead of her own, allowing attacks to hit where they otherwise would not. Paired with a shot, this attack hits everywhere on the board, with the added bonus of dealing more damage if the opponent is on Jaeger's space. It's also of note to say that this attack allows Karen to move Jaeger at most two spaces within this beat because the stun immunity guarantees that she won't get stunned and she'll activate her UA's end of beat effect regardless. Coordinated is an attrition style that's also part of the big three. You see, any opponent that tries to step into Jaeger's space takes two damage instead. This allows Karen to block off parts of the board, and with proper prediction, can be a good dash and burst counter. Use this move to bully opponents into the corner, where you want them the most. Despite it being a predictable play, the mere existence of this card scares people beyond belief. Don't underestimate it. To round off the big three, we have Full Moon. Quite honestly, one of Karen and Jaeger's best styles. Its start of beat effect allows Karen to switch places with Jaeger to gain the optimal positioning. And depending on the final positioning of Jaeger, you'll get bonus effects. Soak if he's between you and the opponent, and extra power if he's behind your opponent. This allows you to basically pick which effect you'll be needing, or which range you'll be needing. It's so versatile because you get to see your opponent's attack pair before making these decisions, making it quite the scary attack. Do note that you can use this attack in multiple ways, usually offensively by using it as a gap closer, or defensively by using it as a pseudo dash. Feral is brawling by its very definition. You see, its start to beat effect allows Karen and Jaeger to close in that gap, while its on hit effect allows Karen and Jaeger to retreat, preventing the opponent's counter attack. Not only that, but it also gains the added bonus of stunning the opponent if Jaeger is on the same space. This makes exchanging with Karen and Jaeger so threatening and possibly dangerous. Pair this up with a drive, and I assure you that it will hit almost everything on the board. Finally, we have Duel. Its lack of priority and before activating effect basically signals that it's better used against slow characters who can't position themselves very well. You can also use it as a pseudo-dash by putting the opponent into a space where their attack would miss. 
However, I usually use this style in conjunction with Dash, allowing you to basically get free repositioning by positioning both Karen and Jaeger into the best positioning possible. And finally, we have Karen and Jaeger's unique base, Claw, a simple name for a really good attack. You see, it basically has better range than your regular drive, with the possibility of dealing even more damage than your regular drive if Jaeger is on the same space as the opponent. Use this attack wisely. Pair it off with her styles because it just works with most of them very, very well. Feral, for example, gives you more brawling capabilities, while Coordinated allows you to close the gap after preventing your opponent's advance. Regardless, this basically means that Karen and Jaeger have an extra drive. This is really good because it lets them advance way more than most characters, while on the other hand, allows them to win clash battles if the opponent doesn't have two priority four attacks. Karen and Jaeger's overdrive finishes are Red Moon Rage and Lunar Cross. Red Moon Rage is a fast, damaging melee attack that is so powerful but mitigated by the fact that Karen and Jaeger have to be adjacent to the opponent on both sides to hit. As such, any start of beat effect like a burst or any other movement like Robert Sapien's token will make this attack miss. However, it does prove useful against slow, juggernaut type characters who don't move quite often during the start of beat phase. Lunar Cross, on the other hand, is a more middling type finisher with less priority and less power. However, it has a more reliable range because of its before activating effect. Do note, however, that this attack won't work against opponents that you can't switch sides with, so be careful with that. Now, here's a tough choice. You see, Karen and Jaeger being brawlers actually can make good use of every single possible effect they can get their special action with. You can use Red Moon Rage to kill Juggernaut to have high amounts of soak. You can use Lunar Cross to catch up with the Rangers to keep getting away from you. You can use Cancel to mitigate that opponent's options, especially since they're Brawlers. And you can use Pulse to reposition yourself and Jaeger. Quite frankly, all of these options are viable in any Karen and Jaeger matchup. As such, I do think that it's really, really to your benefit to analyze the situation and know which special action will benefit you the most. And now that that's all over and done with, we can finally get to advanced strategies. Remember I was talking about the corner trap earlier where this is basically what it looks like. You can also have Karen be at range 6 or 4, but for the purpose of this discussion, let's make it range 5. As clearly seen here, Karen and Jaeger are able to threaten their opponents with a myriad of options, especially if they have the big three in their hand. Coordinated prevents opponents from using a dash or a gap closing move on you, as they might risk taking the two damage and wasting an entire beat. On the other hand, Howling allows you to snipe your opponents with either a grasp or a strike, making it really hard for them to use a simple shot on you. And finally, we have Full Moon, allowing Karen and Jaeger to switch places so that Karen is able to come in and hit with a strike when it's least expected. Also, it has the added benefit of making opponents with minimum ranges miss you. The key to playing Karen and Jaeger is to think of them as actual wolves, cornering their prey and ripping them to shreds. As such, their game plan is as much about cornering opponents as it is brawling and exchanging with them. Given that, here are a few attack pairs that might help you along the way. Dual Dash is an excellent move to reposition Karen and Jaeger, forcing corner traps most of the time, especially if the opponent thinks he's safe from one just because he's halfway across the board. Feral Claw is an attack that might seem redundant to some of you with its two on-hit effects. However, look deeper and you'll see an attack that has full board coverage with five priority. On a character like Karen, that is almost indispensable and so valuable to your game plan. Its most attractive feature is that you can use one of the on-hit effects to activate the other one. So you can either stun the opponent and deal extra damage, or move the opponent into Jaeger's space to force the stun anyway. There are a lot more interactions to this attack pair, and I'll leave it up to you guys to find them all. Finally, and arguably one of Karen and Jaeger's best attacks is Howling Shot. 
Now I know I already mentioned this earlier, but it deserves a special new ones here. You see, its plus one priority allows it to beat other vanilla shots while only being clashable by vanilla strikes, and all other attacks are pretty much useless or trade fair with it, making it really good as a just put it out there attack. Put it out there. Put out a telling shot. Put out a telling shot. Basically guarantees you free damage with little to no lose factors involved, varying opponent effects. As such, it's powerful, so abuse it, use it, respect it. And that's pretty much all you guys need to know about Karen and Jaeger Brandfort. Now if you plan on bringing these twin werewolves into the fray, here are a few last minute tips. Fight like a brawler, but fight like a ranger as well. Remember that even though most of your attacks are melee, you have so much movement and you can get in and out quite fast. Number two, corner traps. Don't forget the corner trap. It is literally one of the best things this character can do. Abuse that big three, okay? Third and finally, don't forget that Jaeger is an offensive tool, not a defensive one. This character can use it defensively, but it's better suited for you to use it for pressure and causing mind games with the opponent. And that pretty much does it for this episode of Battle Guides featuring Karen and Jaeger Brand. I know this took quite a while to get here, but hey, it's here. So go on out there and rip people to shreds! And remember, do not, and I mean do not, forget your special action. Thank you and good night.